It's my privilege to have with me this morning the Reverend Dr. Usman Forna, who is the National Superintendent of the Wesleyan Church in Sierra Leone. It is the largest unit of the Wesleyan Church anywhere in the world outside of North America. Uh, Dr. Forna, how does it happen that you're in the U.S. at this time? Well, um, my primary purpose of being in the United States is to attend the General Conference of the Wesleyan Church of Sierra Leone. But in addition to that, the Wesleyan Church in Sierra Leone has a very long-standing relationship with a number of Wesleyan districts in North America, like the Wisconsin District through the Auckland Wesleyan Church, the East Michigan District, and the District of Illinois through the Heritage Wesleyan Church. These churches have contributed immensely to our human resource development, look at church buildings, and conducting pastors' conference for my pastors back there in Sierra Leone. So in addition to attending the general conference, I had the responsibility of moving around to visit them, share with them what the Lord is doing with their contributions in the church in Sierra Leone and how much we have grown, and also giving them a challenge on how we can continue building our collaborative process. In addition to that, I had an invitation to address the graduating class of the 2012 at Kingswood University. So I had to go to Kingswood in Canada to address the graduation ceremony on the 4th and the 5th of May 2012. And during that ceremony, I was conferred on a honorary Doctor of Divinity degree in that institution, which is highly appreciated by me and the church in Sierra Leone. Well, I have the privilege of being the chairman of the Board of Trustees at Kingswood, as you know, oh, and had yes. a little bit to do with you receiving the degree. And frankly, sir, I believe you're an extremely qualified candidate, and we were honored to honor you in this way. Thank you very much for the compliment and confidence. It is, uh, I'm humbled by receiving it. I owe it all to the Lord and to my parishioners and colleagues back home who have supported me in my leadership role. And I am humbled and challenged to do more exploit for the Lord when I go back by the confidence imposed on me. Thank you very much for that honor. Well, thank you for being here today. And we hope we have a wonderful conference together. God thank bless you. you. Amen.